Hola friends, um, I have a little bit of a golden hour glow, so I thought I'd make this. I think this commentary is gonna guide all the pieces you're about to see in probably the most super random video ever. We'll see what I'm able to do. Number one, I did not go to Costa Rica. Guys, it was a total disaster. On Friday night, so July 16th, um, my friend and I who were supposed to go each got a text message saying that our flight on Sunday was canceled. And it was like super vague. It was like weather slash potentially runway reasons. And they just canceled the flight. So went to bed that night. Um, it was a difficult day, which I will also explain. Woke up the next morning and kind of had like a little fight in me. Like, all right, you know what? Let me see if I can find a flight for today. So I go on and sure enough, there was a flight that we could catch that was leaving at like 345 on Saturday. So I called my friend and I was like, if you can get to my house, I'll drive us up. Like we'll go to my grandparents. My grandparents will drop us off at the airport. We can catch this flight. So we booked the flight. All the aforementioned were done. We got to the airport in time, um, checked in, went through customs, like everything. We were sitting waiting for our flight. It was a beautiful day until it started to pour and thunderstorm. And then it was so rainy and crazy and windy. It like there was like a tornado warning for the area. So naturally the flights were delayed. Our flight got delayed about four times. We were there an extra, I wanna say, two or three hours because of delays, and then they canceled our flight. So this was the second flight that got canceled. But this time when they canceled it, they canceled like every other flight in the airport at that time. So I don't know how many flights period were canceled that day, but our section of the airport was complete chaos. Like the line to rebook your flights was hours long and we just knew we were going to have success with that we're like there's no point in waiting in that line we can do this online if we're interested we'll figure it out so we went down to try and get our bags back that line was also we probably waited in that line for maybe half an hour to 45 minutes to talk to somebody to get our bags i can't remember we were there a long time we arrived at the airport around noon and we got back to my grandparents at seven o'clock so we were in the airport for seven hours so needless to say, we didn't get our bags back that night because there were hundreds of flights canceled. So we went back to my grandparents, it was a massive thunderstorm. Um, and then Sunday morning, we drove back to Newark airport by some miracle of God, we got our bags back. They had stored them in different areas. It literally was like the airport apocalypse. There were people sleeping on cots whose um, flights had been canceled the night before. There were hundreds, hundreds of suitcases everywhere. Um, and we literally just went down rows and rows and rows of suitcases and couldn't find ours. Luckily, they had put all the suitcases from our flight in a certain room, so we were able to find ours. And that was just such a blessing because we had so much stuff in our suitcases, just clothing, money, things we needed for the trip that all could be replaced, but would just cost so much money. Um, so we got that back, thank goodness. And then from there, we talked to someone to see if we could find another flight and friends when i tell you we checked other airports we checked layovers we checked different airports in costa rica we tried everything we could not get to costa rica there was literally no option for the next two days all the flights were overbooked canceled not available didn't work um so at that point we took it from god that we were not supposed to go to costa rica does that mean we were happy no it was a horrible horrible weekend all on top of which um was um losing one of my dear students in a horrific accident so needless to say i was a mess it was one of the if not the worst weekends of my life um i'm able to say that now with composure it was a really tough week after um i needed to take that whole week for myself um it was really hard it was awful and I just send so much love and prayers to all of you who are also uh, missing our sweet angel and guys there's just uh, there's no good answers there's no good answers um, so for this video just an honest like here I am having a tough week and sharing it with you guys. It's not all rainbows and butterflies. I try to be positive for you guys. You guys give me so much energy. So without you, it was a tough week. To share what I do to get through tough stuff, um, I try and like plan at least one thing a day, something that I have to get up and get dressed and show up for, whether that be shopping, going for a run, or doing some kind of exercise. Um, 
going to the library and picking up a book, like just anything small, just having one thing on my to-dos to check off every day, um, just helps me get back on my feet a little bit. So if that's helpful to you, um, wherever you are right now, take it as, as needed, talk to whoever you need to talk to, reach out, um, be with loved ones and appreciate and value all your time. Um, in this video, I had such a crazy week. So on Sunday, we ended up going to New York City for the day. So you'll see some clips from that. On Thursday, I went back to New York City for the day just by myself. Um, so I made a little adventure for myself. On Saturday, I went down to Virginia to do the first half of my move in and do a little cat sitting for my aunt. And I just got back to New Jersey today and today is Tuesday. So it's been a crazy time. Um, I am not able to reschedule my Costa Rica trip for any other time this summer. I don't have enough time between um, now and when I have to move to Virginia and start work. So that's that's postponed for the future. I got all my refunds and everything I needed, but um, I wish I could say, oh yeah, I'm just going to make it up at this time. I don't know when I'm going to make it up. Hopefully in God's good timing, I will. All the people we dealt with from Costa Rica were so kind throughout the whole process of our cancellations and refunds and being flexible and understanding. Super awesome. So lots of love to Costa Rica, Pura Vida. And uh, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoy this vlog. It's kind of strange and random. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't stress you out. If it stresses you out, turn it off and watch something else. Um, but yes, just an honest, here's how I got through the past week and a half. Um, lots of love to you guys, always. Good morning guys, it's like 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, huge change of plans. We were supposed to go to Costa Rica tomorrow and we have to today. Our flight was canceled and basically our best option was today. So my friend Sarah is coming with me. I've talked about her all the time and now she's gonna be in uh, my vlog for this trip. Um, we are leaving soon. She's on her way to my house. Um, then we're gonna drive up north and then we're, we're getting on a flight by like 3.30 today. <music> morning kids <laughs> you look well I look bad Sarah looks fine I look horrible because you know what we've had a horrible 24 hours and that's just the reality of it so we are at Newark Airport for the third time in 24 hours our flight was canceled twice we were originally supposed to fly today it was canceled tried to get on one yesterday canceled after we waited like three hours and they uh, delayed it four times anyway here we go trying to find our baggage and possibly another option but I don't know Hi kids, total change of plans. Everything in Costa Rica is canceled. So we found ourselves in New York City. And we're just fooling around here, making some content for you guys, having some fun for ourselves. So check the view behind us. We're on something called the Little Island. Uh, yeah, it's like a little island. It's a cool amphitheater behind us. Oops, excuse my finger. Amateur vlogger here, Sarah. <laughs> and yeah, see what we can find in the next few hours. You see it? Oh yeah. it's hot and humid but we are on the High Line in New York City which is this really cool pathway thing um, that used to be an old railway kind of moving train situation uh, and it's now just a walking path so we're enjoying some greenery in the city might grab a Mexican popsicle on our way back we're heading to the thingy called the vessel and if we arrive there we will let you know and show you of course hey guys we made it to the vessel we're not gonna climb up because it's free. <laughs> There's a lot of people. Hi guys, we're back in New York City. I'm on the Brooklyn Bridge. Can you see? Can't talk long and walk because there's cyclists and walkers and you don't want to block the way, but um, I'll try and share some video of today and whatever kind of video I get to you guys soon, but I'm walking from the Brooklyn side to the Manhattan side. See you soon.
Sure, I could find it somewhere. Behind me, it's a little tough to see. It's kind of small, but there's the Statue of Liberty. Um, yeah, so just making the most of today and this crazy, wild, upside down week. All right, guys, I'm gonna flip around my view and you can see where I walked today. All right, so the, over there is Manhattan. So I walked across, I parked in Brooklyn, so pretend I'm starting on the other side. I walked from the right to the left, back again, well, all the way around over there a little bit back again and then through this park and around Brooklyn. Buenos dias friends. As you can see the back of my car is pretty full. Um, today is kind of my first half of move in. I brought some stuff down to Virginia already but just for my classroom. So this is like personal my actual room stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna have a friend come over and help me. Hopefully I can film some setting up my room. I think you guys will be interested in seeing the theme. It's definitely a surprise. It's not anything predictable about me that uh, you guys would know but Depending upon when I release this video in relation to potentially another video, you might guess it. So, uh, yeah, safe trip to me, and we'll see you in Virginia. Hey guys, I'm at the new house, in my room. That's my mattress behind me, leaning up against the wall because I just built the bed frame all by myself. My friend was running late, so I just got started, and then I did the whole thing. Um, we have a special guest in the background. Olive! Oop, there she goes. We have a kitten! Tia Liz and I have a kitten. It's really her, her kitten, but I'll be living here, so um, you'll be seeing Olive often. She's a little nuts. Um, are you a little crazy? <laughs> Sorry, my hand's shaking. I'm so tired from doing the screws. I think she thinks I just built her a playground. She's been running up the mattress because she can, like, claw into it and then you're so cute though oh yep there she goes <laughs> oh my gosh she's in crazy kitty mood right now Alrighty, so i'll update you with whatever comes next all right here's a brief sneak peek it's not done there's things that need to be finished and fixed but um here's what i accomplished this weekend ignore the messy shelf gotta fix that up those aren't my skirts <laughs> deal has left some clothes in my room and she's gonna move them when she can. Um, yeah, so that's what I got for now.